And here's another example. It would be extraordinary if a kindergarten student wrote their numbers to a thousand. Because that is a lot of numbers. And your hand would really probably get tired. So let's say this sentence one more time. It would be extraordinary if hmm because hmm. Okay, so here's what I want you to do now. Think of something that's extraordinary. So everybody some think time. You come up with your own example, or if you can't come up with one, you can use one of mine. But try to come up with your own. Something that would really be extremely wonderful or different. Extraordinary. It would be extraordinary if, hmm, because, hmm. Okay, now get your microphones. Let's practice it. You ready to go? Okay, yeah. let's do it together. It would be extraordinary if Mr. Rosenfield came in here in a tuxedo and then did a big dance in front of all the kids because you've never seen me in a tuxedo. You need to get your microphone up and be practicing. Pra practice it. Because remember, practice is what gets you ready for when you're with your partner. It would be extraordinary if Miss Solis came in here in a tutu because wouldn't that be wild to see her looking that way? Okay, put your microphones down. Good job. Okay, now turn to your partner. Get eye to eye, knee to knee. Get yourselves ready. Eye to eye, knee to knee. Good, good. Okay, pick an A, pick a B. Okay, this day, B's go first. Okay, Wait, just remember, if you get done, what do you do? Keep going. You can do other examples, or you can do the same one over again. Okay, so everybody go. It would be extraordinary if, with your partners. Wow, would that be cool and had your own job? Wow. It will be extraordinary if my mom is on six pieces for snack. Because? Would that be wild? It will be extraordinary if I went to Disneyland because I would have seen Mickey Mouse. Wouldn't that be cool to see Mickey Mouse? Victor, hey, put your hands down so we can hear it. Look at your partner. It would be extraordinary if there were five dogs on the wall. I touched them. They, they, they went a half mile away from me. Okay, let's hear a few. You um, don't need to put your hands. You know, guys. I just call on you. Eyes on Edwin. It would be extraordinary if the astronaut came to class because we can see a rocket ship. Could you imagine a real astronaut? Wouldn't that be great? Okay, guys. You know what? I am going to beat you today. I'm going to give you some situations today. And here's the deal, okay? You're going to either say extraordinary or not extraordinary. So think to yourself, hmm, is this extremely wonderful? Okay, so here we go. Um, me. You. Okay. You. And I'll put a... Now uh, let's do a girl here. And then me. I'll put my glasses. Okay, here we go. You ready? Here we go. So extraordinary, not extraordinary. Good. Eyes ready to go. Okay, I want you to imagine we have chips for snack. My gosh, we had chips two days ago. 
We had chips four days ago, okay? And we're gonna have chips again today. The same snack over and over. Is that extraordinary or not extraordinary? One point for you guys. Okay, you know, we, this is true. You know what's coming up? We have our kindergarten, first grade, swim day. Now, you know, we, have we been swimming together this year? No. Not this year, no. No. So, we're going to go to the Allen Whip, we're going to play on the play things and all that. Would that be extremely wonderful or different? Is that extraordinary or not extraordinary? extraordinary. You bet it is. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. This is, this is a real different one. Imagine Santa Claus comes to your house, knocks on your door, and says, you, come with me. And he says, here, sit on my sleigh. Let's go for a ride. Would that be extraordinary or not extraordinary? Extraordinary! Good gosh, I never win this game. Okay, it's a school day. And guess what? You wear the same thing that, well, kind of like me. I do wear the same thing a lot of days, don't I? Yeah. The same kind of shirt, the same kind of pants. Is that same kind of shoes? You got it. Everybody knows my shoes. Is that extreme? Is that extremely wonderful? Is that extraordinary or not extraordinary? I am going to surprise you one day. One day I'll dress and it will be extraordinary. But you're right. That was not extraordinary. Okay, eyes up here. Get your body together. Good. Thank you. Okay, here's what I want you to do. When you go home tonight, I already told your parents. I already told your parents when you were lining up coming in. I want you to go home and I want you to think of something that's extremely wonderful or different. And you use the word what word are you going to use? In a sentence. You might go up to mom and say, Mom, you don't just look amazing today. You look... Or, wow, what a meal. This meal is... So think of a time when you go home today and when you're home. Use that word. And you know what they're going to say? You're extraordinary. Give yourselves a hand. Good job.